My app looks like crap. And since launch has literally gotten zero users. And after a few sad days, I challenged myself to make this app better. And so in this video, we will attempt to take my soccer predictor app from looking like crap to a lot better, hopefully. And so the first thing we need to get out of the way is what even is this app? And so the user inputs two teams and the algorithm is supposed to output the team that has a higher likely chance of winning. And off the surface, right? If this algorithm is remotely accurate, this could generate us millions of dollars. You know, it's related to something where it makes a lot of people money. So, you know, I thought a lot of people would be interested. However, although the idea was there and the algorithm was actually working quite well, you can see the app looks like crap and also it works like crap. It had a lot of bugs and I just don't think I was marketing it the right way. And so with this information, I set myself up with a framework I like to call the three SaaS fix up framework. These three things are meant to take an app from not being as successful as it should be to one that is generating users. And so the first thing I did and the first aspect of the fix up framework is cleaning up the UI. This is simple. Again, the app looks really ugly. And I think a big part of why this did not generate any good users was because it looks really suspicious. And so we did keep the red main color as like our primary color, but we did change the dark background to a white background. I noticed that with a lot of the sports app, a lighter background tends to be more welcoming rather than a darker, I don't know how to say it, like not so welcoming background. And once we got that done, I also ended up changing the UI library from Daisy UI to Shad CN UI. And the main reason was because of its select feature. On the main app, the user has to select things like the teams and their own predictions. And Daisy UI just did not have a good select library. So I ended up changing to Shad CN UI because of that. And I think it looks a whole lot better. And the final thing I changed in terms of the questionnaire for the user is a question mark around each section just to explain what the user has to do. For example, for the two teams, we're explaining that they need to pick two teams. And for the personal prediction, we're explaining why we're doing that. For this first framework, all I asked myself was, can the user understand this UI? And I felt like changing the main part from a darker and less appealing look to a more appealing look with explanations, it gives the user and us a higher chance for the user to stay. And a big part of Clean UI, and this actually lets us segue into the second aspect of our fix up SaaS framework, and it is a good landing page. Now I know what you're probably saying, can't we just include a good landing page into Clean UI? And although we could do that, I felt like landing page needs its own section due to how important it is. You see, I don't have a landing page for the soccer predictor. And because the whole point of a landing page is to explain the product, I felt like why we weren't gaining any users was because they did not know what was going on, what this was for and who it was for. A confused user is just as bad as no users at all. We didn't do anything crazy here. We basically got the principles that we followed from the clean UI section where we had the red and the white. And we're just aiming to have a clear call to action where the users know where to click to go to the main part and a demonstration of what our product does. And we also included the new recharts from Shatsy and UI, which look amazing in my opinion. And I took the angle of statistics, which will lead to our third part in a second here where we want to appear smart and algorithmic for the user to know that oh this guy is for real this app is for real and they've taken a lot of things into consideration for their predictions now the only thing i wish i added now that i think of it is a video demonstration of how this works we'll add it in the future for sure but for now we just included an image demonstration where we take the user through a couple of steps but just in the future i just wanted to remind myself in this video that i need a uh, video demonstration so the user knows what's going on i also included a nice little drop down menu where it has like a bunch of options that I'm obviously going to change. And now the third aspect of our SaaS fix up framework is fixing up the algorithm and main product. Up until this point, we've only worked on the UI. And although that is important, we do have to shift our focus to more of the back end and the algorithms in place. And if you haven't seen the initial video of the soccer match predictor, which I will leave down below for you to check out if you haven't already, how we calculate the algorithm and how we predict a winner is through the team's rankings, their last five games, their goal difference in those last five games, and a final parameter, which is the user's own prediction. And look, as said in the other video, the algorithm was working really good. For the most part, it was predicting somewhat correctly. But one main thing that was really annoying me was in those close games where if there's like two really good teams, the algorithm was either drawing the teams or it was shifting towards the team with the higher ranking. And that just does not happen in soccer. A lot of the times the lower team ends up winning and it's because they're in better form. A lot of jargon from the soccer stuff here, but trust me, like, just don't worry about it too much. And the few things that we changed here was firstly displaying the percentages in a bar chart displaying the output this way just gives the user an idea of how close 
else each percentage is and gives them an overall explanation of why this was the output. And the only main thing we changed with the algorithm is giving more power to the user's predictions. Previously, it was 10% where whichever team the user selected, we would give 10% extra to that selected team. But now we upgraded it to 20%. Will this be the right decision? I don't know. But based off using it myself, it has been more accurate on those closer games, which we want. And so what I want you to do, okay, I'm calling you out. If your SaaS has zero users, follow this framework. I've literally done this for my learning platform and it skyrocketed in users. And hopefully following this, I'll make an update video will happen with this as well. And by the way, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It would really go a long way. And also, if you want to join a community of self-taught developers who are either starting businesses, trying to get jobs, are in internships, or in university right now, then I will leave my Discord down below. It is simply the best coding group in the planet right now. On the planet. How do you say that? And finally, if you want to build cool shit, check out the learning platform. We have a bunch of free shit on there just for you. Happy coding, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.